Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January, 2022. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. Massive moves are happening in the sky now. It is one of these rare moments where you may get a chance to feel truly light and free in some way as you embark on a brand new year. Now, it is going to be right out of the gate as we begin the month that we will have a new moon. And this new moon is going to happen on the 2nd of January, and it will be in the sign just before yours. Now, what makes this new moon especially relevant for you, especially meaningful for you, is the fact that it will be speaking in supreme harmony with your modern ruling planet, Uranus. And this is going to allow you a true freedom of lightness and ease. And this is about clearance, okay? This is about closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, understanding what it is that has served its karmic purpose in your life. And so in some key way, there is a sense of healthy closure that allows you to feel excitement for what is up ahead excitement for how much more it is that you yet have to do in this lifetime. There is a sense now of momentum and progress that I think can feel thrilling and hopeful. And there is a sense now of you wanting to deepen your connection to source and to find freedom in that place. For some, you may be working on something behind the scenes, sort of quietly working away. That is one possibility here. But for most Aquarians, I think this is much more about an energetic shift. What's happening on soul and psyche and spirit levels goes through some burst of clarity that feels like you've eased your burden, feeling excited about how much more you have yet to do in this lifetime. It is as we navigate further, um, especially around the 17th of January, that we are going to have a very powerful full moon. Now that full moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So this can be your workplace, the type of work you're doing, the people who are surrounding you there. Um, when we have a full moon here, it tends to indicate an uh, overall sense of busyness taking place in your day-to-day -day life. So there just may be a whole lot of tasks that you have to do. But it's a full moon, so it may be certain tasks that are coming to conclusion now that are part of what has you feeling so busy at this time. But here's the thing. Um, while we do have a beautiful alignment between Neptune and this full moon, which does suggest that there's a promise of prosperity at this time. And that may be part of your motivation for the time that you're putting in. There's also Pluto in the sign before yours standing across the sky with precision from this full moon. And that brings with it a lot of intensity that you can feel very deeply within. A lot is stirring within your soul right now, and maybe you can't quite put your finger on it, but it's part of what's propelling this action that you feel called to take in the context of uh, what is happening in your day-to-day -day life. And so, yes, for many of you, this will show up in terms of your work. Certain tasks are coming to a close, and there may be pressure in some way. 
It may feel like a client, customer, coworker, or immediate supervisor is leaving, and that brings with it anxieties or uncertainty. It could be at this time that you find yourself in a type of a power struggle that you can't quite put your finger on with one of these types of people that I mentioned. And I'm so sorry to say that, but it does happen. But the thing is that if you stay connected to healthy self-love, healthy self-esteem, the area of life that Neptune is in, which also includes finances, interestingly. If you are able to ensure that you keep yourself grounded in spiritual principles, then that will ensure that you are able to act and react from a place of integrity, ensuring that no matter what the outcome, you can feel good about yourself. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we've got an important development taking place, and that is Venus direct. But it's not just that Venus is going to go direct on January 29, but will do so while holding tight a supremely harmonious connection with your modern ruling planet Uranus. And that is an energy of breakthrough and new perspectives. It is Venus retrograde season that has taken place with Venus in the sign just before yours. And this is about what you feel instinctively. It's about what's happening on levels of soul, psyche, and spirit. A part of the sky is so lit up this month, not only because of Venus, but also the new moon that starts the month, and also the fact that we are going to have a Mercury retrograde season, spending part of the time in this part of the sky and another part of the time in your own sign as well, marking an important moment for you. But Venus, speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus, is the lights coming on. For you, that sense of becoming awakened is that much stronger. But it comes about and it brings with it a revelation that feels easy, that feels delightful, regardless of the outcome. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, well, look, if there isn't at least someone there on your periphery, I would be a little surprised, meaning someone of interest there. But this can be a real insight into somebody perhaps that you are interested in or perhaps you were interested in in the past or maybe had some connection to in the past as well. It is as if in an instant with Venus Direct, you get to see the dynamic and see that person very differently in a way that ultimately does empower you to love that much more into the future. For those of you just starting to date somebody, what a truly meaningful time this is. Um, you are going to see some truth about this person. And either what you see is going to help you to feel that much closer to them, embolden you to them that much more strongly and that much more adamantly, that much more spiritually, or what you come to realize, it is like ripping off a Band-Aid. You realize this isn't the person for you and you're ready to go in a whole other direction. There really is no middle ground here, especially for you with a sky like this. You are gaining powerful clarity and the ultimate end is happiness. That could be with this person or not. And for those of you in an established bond, okay, so the overwhelming majority of Aquarians in established bonds, you are going to find as Venus stations direct, speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus, well, you get a chance to see very differently some ongoing matter that might have been there. The lights come on, and for most of you, it is going to bond you that much closer to this person you love. However, for a small percentage of you out there, if you've known for a while that you are not in the right relationship for you, uh, this is a ripping off the band-aid kind of moment where you realize it, you accept it, and in an instant, you're ready to go in a different direction. Of course, part of this Mercury retrograde season is spent with Mercury in your sign. Mid-month, Mercury goes retro in your sign. And what that suggests is there still may be some points of clarity, very rooted in identity, what matters to you most and what matters to you first. And that could affect how adamantly you feel ready to leave the relationship. And yet the insights you gain now will stay with you as part of transformation and as part of new chapters coming up ahead. What I love about this month for you, wow, what a powerful time. But I am going to say 
I love that new moon at the beginning of the month. I think for most of us out there, that is going to be an important peak moment. Um, and that is because it's just so beautifully aspecting Uranus that there is this sense of freedom and lightness that you are going to feel on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. I feel like in an instant, you are going to know that a new chapter has begun, a new year has begun, and you will greet it with enthusiasm and real hope. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every single week for every single sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. At NadiaShawSuperstars.com, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Now, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Link is in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.